Good morning. Uh, I'm Dottie Gallagher Cohen, president of the Buffalo Niagara Partnership, and it's my honor and pleasure to welcome you here today for some more good news that's becoming a habit around these parts, which we're, we're very, very happy about. Um, before we begin the program, I would like to acknowledge some, some folks who are in the room who are uh, important to us. Uh, uh, actually, you're all important to us, but uh, uh, John Comal is here, the president of Harbor Center. The guy that we're kind of counting on to get us a Stanley Cup, Ted Black, is here from the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Assemblywoman Crystal Peoples Stokes is with us today. Pleasure. Uh, Senator Tim Kennedy is here as well. And Buffalo Controller uh, Mark Schroeder. Welcome. And welcome to, to all of you. Uh, today's visit by Governor Cuomo is yet another sign uh, that this is, in fact, a new day in, in Buffalo, Niagara. And as president of this region's largest business organization, the Partnership, and former president of Visit Buffalo, Niagara, I can tell you it's been an exciting uh, couple of years here in our region. The reality, of course, for those of us who have been on the planet for a while and have lived here, uh, realize that uh, we have experienced a long, steady decline, but bit by bit, Buffalo and this region has been coming back. And those of us who have been around a while could feel it uh, and see it, but this, these small seeds were being sown but felt a bit tenuous, quite frankly. So flash forward to 2012 and the state of the state address, and I was in the audience when Governor Cuomo announced the Buffalo Billion Pledge and Promise. And he said he believed in Buffalo, and he said something that stuck with me uh, ever since. Uh, he said, Buffalo, I believe in you, but you have to believe in yourself. He challenged us, and I can tell you, Governor, that since you've made that challenge, the people in our community have really responded. For the first time in my lifetime, we have a governor that's put a focus on our region and, quite frankly, has put money where his mouth is in a very meaningful way. We have a regional plan that many of us participated in developing and brought in experts uh, to help us determine how we could move forward on our economy. And we are starting to see some concrete benefits of this work. And most importantly, we have a commitment from the governor and our local leaders to address the substantive structural issues that are holding this region back. We understand and believe that this is the beginning of the beginning of a new era in Buffalo and Niagara, and his visible presence here today reinforces his and our commitment to this region. In fact, Governor, you've been here so often, um, I almost think it's time for you to get a place here. But you've got to move quick because the real estate market has never been so hot as it is right now. So, uh, but we'd love to have you as a neighbor. Um, in the business community, we certainly can feel the excitement. We see businesses coming back and current businesses starting to expand and new investments in economic growth. And of course, the most visible signs are those beautiful, beautiful cranes outside the window here that show up against our blue sky. But in terms of today's announcements, I believe that this is one of the most significant uh, and, and, and will have a terrific impact for reasons that might not be obvious. Uh, one of this region's serious obstacles for our future economic development is our brand, what people think of this region who live outside of our region. And the governor's consultants, McKinsey, validated that we have underinvested in, in promotion of this region for some time. Years ago, the original terms of the casino compact were to have these casinos to provide needed funds for tourism promotion, both here in Buffalo and in Niagara Falls. And resolving this dispute with the Senecas will provide an immediate boost for the tourism economy as those funds begin to apply, but be applied. But long term, it will help Buffalo Niagara's image, which will help us attract investment and people to our region. So, Governor and President Snyder, uh, we thank you for resolving this dispute so we can begin in earnest to show the rest of the country what this governor already knows, that Buffalo is a great place to visit and to do business. So thank you very much. It is now my great honor to introduce uh, President of the Seneca Nation, Barry Snyder. Well, good to see everybody here. Again, Yahweh Scandal from the Seneca Nation, the people of the Seneca Nation. It's a, kind of an amazing day. Uh, it, it seems like it's been four years since we um, 
talked about a little disruption in our compact with the state of New York, and I'm glad it is over, and I think the people of Niagara Falls, Buffalo, and Salamanca are also elated that this day has finally come and we get back to the normal things that we usually do and is uh, promote business within our areas and move forward with what we have to do. On behalf of the Seneca Nation, the Tribal Council, and the leadership, I'm happy to be here today with Governor Andrew Como and Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown and all of the special guests today. In 2002, the Seneca Nation signed a gaming compact with the state of New York under the Federal Indian Gaming Regulatory Act. This historic compact required the nation and the state to cooperate in the establishment of three Class three gaming casino facilities. It has been a very successful building a billion dollar gaming business right here in Western New York with our Seneca Niagara, Seneca Allegheny, and the newly expanded Seneca Buffalo Creek Casino, which is uh, scheduled to open in the last week of August of 2013, we are proud to announce. In the process, we have created thousands of jobs for Senecas and non-Senecas alike and have become an important business partner for several local companies hereby supporting thousands of additional jobs in the local economy. On behalf of the Seneca Nation, we appreciate the governor's continued commitment to the economic, economic revitalization of Western New York, recognizing the Seneca Nation's game enterprise as an important component for continuation of our region's growth and transformation. I stand here committed to uphold our agreement, protect my nation's sovereign rights, and continue to grow our gaming business and contribute needed revenue for our host cities. Again, I would like to personally thank Governor Cuomo for his leadership in helping to resolve this dispute and making our host cities whole once again. As for 50 years, I have been involved in helping lead the great Seneca Nation. As a nation, we have overcome great adversities and have rejoiced with much success. We have conflicts and debates, but in the end, we work together to move our future forward as one. With that said, Governor, it's my pleasure on behalf of the Seneca Nation of Indians, the people of the Seneca Nation, to present this check to you for $349,650,000. We don't count the other part. We just worry about the big ones. <laughs> to include the host uh, city's distribution as our commitment to economic growth and progress throughout Seneca country, Western New York, and the state of New York. To you, Governor, many knowledge. We will continue to work together as we, we have committed to ourselves with the city, Buffalo, Allegheny, Salamanca, and Niagara Falls. We are committed to that. Again, Mr. Governor, I commend you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good morning to all of you. First, well, it's a better morning than that. Whenever you get a $349 million check, it's a really good day, right? First to Dottie Gallagher Cohen, thank you very much for your leadership and everything you do for Buffalo and the entire region. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> to President Barry Snyder and the people of the Seneca Nation, uh, I was in the federal government for eight years, uh, as many of you know, and I had an opportunity during that time to work with many Native American tribes all across the nation. Uh, and it was an education for me to really get a sense of the heritage and the history and the legacy of the Native American people. Uh, and we have six great nations here in the state of New York. The Senecas are the largest of the six Native American nations that we have uh, in New York, the westernmost nation. Uh, and the Senecas have a democratic form of government that predates the U.S democratic form of government. You know, the, the history of the Native American people, history of the Seneca Nation, really is uh, something to be study, studied and uh, respected. Senecas are also the fifth largest employer in western New York. 
Uh, so they're not just a great part of our history and our legacy. They're a great part of what we're doing today, and they're a great part of the future. Uh, so it was a pleasure to work with the President and the entire Tribal Council. This was a difficult matter. It had gone on for many years. When you have a conflict that goes on for a long time, it seems the conflict gets more embedded and gets more difficult just because of the duration of time. Uh, so it was a long time. It was also a lot of money. So you put those two things together, a lot of money and a long time, uh, and it was difficult. But I want to thank the Tribal Council. I want to thank the President for his leadership, because cooler heads prevailed, uh, and everyone took a deep breath, uh, and we actually worked it out. The President has a great legacy of leadership with the nation. As he said, it goes back 50 years. So not only did he deal with me as a governor, he's dealt with many governors over the years. Uh, 50 years means he's dealt with more than one Cuomo as, as governor. Uh, we got to the end of the negotiation after many days and hours, and it was tense, and I said, Mr. President, I have one final question for you. Who is your favorite Governor Cuomo? Is it Andrew or is it Mario? And he looked at me and he said, you won't like the answer, just sign the agreement. So I said, <laughs> But let's give him a round of applause, President Barry Snyder. It's a pleasure to be with Mayor Byron Brown, who's been a great leader for the city of Buffalo. You see the progress everywhere. You feel the spirit. You feel the energy. Let's give him a round of applause, Mayor Byron Brown. I have two of my state colleagues here, uh, and we wouldn't be here today without the uh, cooperation of the Assembly and the Senate in Albany. This agreement in many ways is tied to a larger agreement that we worked out on gaming statewide. There's going to be a referendum this November that's going to be before the voters to determine whether or not the state changes its constitution in terms of gaming. Uh, but I want to thank Senator Kennedy and Assemblywoman Crystal People Stokes very much for their help in being here today. Thank you. And it's always a pleasure to be with my long lost pal from Albany, your controller, Mark Schroeder. Pleasure to be with you, Mark. Today is pretty much self explanatory. Uh, it's good news. It's a big investment in Western New York. It's ending a problem, and it's moving forward for a new day. And I think that's so much of what you heard from Dottie, and it's so much of the story of Buffalo and Western New York. Uh, there's been a, a bad economic period for Buffalo and Western New York. That is no secret. It went on a long time. A few weeks ago, somebody said to me here in Buffalo, you know, in Buffalo, we've had a bad economy for the past 50 years, you know. Uh, it's not about a, a short-term economic recession or downturn. It's not about 2006, 2007. This is about retooling an economy that really never found its footing after the manufacturing economy. And we've been struggling ever since. You then had a state government that was basically dysfunctional for many, many years. And you had that economic transformation that Western New York needed to go through, and a dysfunctional government in Albany, and that was a bad combination. Because when you look at the parts of the countries that made that transformation, it's where the government and the private sector were working hand in glove and effectively and efficiently. And the Albany state government was a joke to use a technical term, for many, many years. I mean, the, the running show of, was the annual show of the state trying to get the budget done, right? You had to endure that year after year, and the state's supposed to get the budget done by April 1, it's the deadline, is it going to get it done? Uh, and it was a laughing stock. It couldn't even get its own, its own budget passed. So you put the economic transformation that the region had to go through with the lack of a good partner in Albany, and uh, you wind up where we wound up. But it's also true, as Dottie said, this is a much, much different day, and it's a much different time. And that's not just words, it's not just rhetoric. You look at what's been going on over the past months, over the past couple of years, and you see a different Buffalo. 
and you see a constant momentum and a constant upward trajectory. Today is indicative of it. We have a fight with the Senecas. It's gone on for four years. Hundreds of millions of dollars in the balance. But it went on month after month after month. Change it, fix it, solve it, resolve it, put people at the table. Well, it's complicated, it's hard. I don't care. Government's job is to fix problems, make it work. Today we announce the, an agreement with the Senecas, but that's just another victory in a string of victories. The Buffalo Billion that Dottie talked about, an investment in Western New York, and the billion, why the billion? First, because I did have to put my money where my mouth is, as Dottie said, and I have a big mouth, so it was a billion dollars. But a billion dollars, to make the point, I know it's been a long, dry spell. And I know the economy's been slow. And I know we're talking about a major investment to change the trajectory. And that's what the billion dollars is all about. That commitment, that kind of investment, and that stake in the belief in the future of Buffalo and Western New York. And you look at the progress we've been making. Look at the tangible progress. Look at the medical corridor. Look at SUNY 2020. Look at the Damon College of Visual Effects. Look at the deal with the Buffalo Bills. $130 million investment in the stadium, signing a 10-year lease. That's what the Peace Bridge was all about. Stop the lack of progress. Stop the apathy. Insist on a different day for tomorrow. Insist on changing the trajectory. And it's not going to be that Buffalo is left behind anymore. And we're going to stand up for ourselves, and we're going to organize, and we're going to make tomorrow different than today. And that's when Dottie says, I said, you have to believe in yourself. That's what I meant. It starts with you. It starts with the person in the mirror. You want tomorrow to be different than yesterday. It starts with you. And you have to take the first step, and nobody's going to do it if you don't go first. People can help you, but it's about you going first. And that's what you've been doing, and you've been doing it splendidly well. For many, many years, Buffalo, all the Buffalo talk was about yesterday was about what we were, was about the steel mills, was about the old days. That was all the talk. The talk now is about tomorrow and the future and what we will be. And it is beautiful to listen to because I really believe the best is yet to be for Buffalo and Western New York. And when you, you plot the points of what's been going on, you see the arrow points straight up. And it's my pleasure to be part of it. And today is another, another installment in that upward trajectory. We thank the Seneca Nation. We thank them for their cooperation and their partnership. And we plan a better future together. Thank you, President Snyder. Now, from the large check that I received from the Seneca Nation, $349 million, uh, which is a significant fund on anyone's accounting books, I want you to know I plan to take a vacation to an undisclosed location, and I'm leaving immediately. Um, part of those funds will go to the city of Buffalo, uh, and I want to make that presentation now, and I'd ask the mayor to join me. We have the sum of $15,500,000 to the city of Buffalo. I'm going to deduct a small administrative fee for the handling of the accounts and the back office overhead, uh, and we will forward the difference. Congratulations to the city of Buffalo. Let's have a big round of applause for a great mayor, Mayor Byron Brown. You can see when the governor handed me that check, I did not want to let it go. On behalf of the city of Buffalo, I want to 
say a big thank you to Governor Cuomo for being here today and an even bigger thank you to Governor Cuomo and Seneca Nation President Barry Snyder for their great leadership in resolving this long-standing dispute. For years, as you all know, while the Seneca Nation and the state went back and forth with this dispute, Buffalo was caught in the middle. When Governor Cuomo took office, he made a pledge to the city of Buffalo and western New York that the state of New York recognized our problems and that our region needed special attention. Ever since then, Governor Cuomo has been in our co corner, and he has been there in a major way. We've seen one piece of good news after the other, from the Buffalo Billion to the agreement to keep the bills right here in western New York where they belong. And on top of all of these achievements, the Seneca Agreement is another major victory for our city and our region. When you talk to business owners here and our residents, you can feel new optimism and energy in the city of Buffalo. We're making tremendous progress every day in Buffalo and are currently experiencing over $1.7 billion in economic development, creating real jobs. The governor's billion for Buffalo has opened the door to Buffalo for businesses all around the country and internationally as well. Every week, we are hearing from another business from different parts of the country and Canada that are kicking the tires and looking closely at making investments in the city of Buffalo. Governor Cuomo has been a great friend to Buffalo and this region like no other governor. So Governor, thank you so much for all you have done for our city. Governor Cuomo, we thank you for all you continue to do. Uh, let's give Governor Cuomo and Seneca Nation President Snyder another big round of applause. And now it is my pleasure to uh, welcome Dottie Gallagher Cohen back to the podium. I'm the cleanup crew, so um, I just want to thank you all for being here today on behalf of the Governor and President Snyder. Uh, it's always great to come together when we have good news to share. So thank you for joining us today and have a terrific, terrific day.